In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this color heat map effect in Adobe After Effects. So beginning with our original clip, I'm going to head over to the effects panel and search for one called Colorama. This is in the color correction folder. And this is how we're going to be able to apply a unique heat map type of color. So in the effect controls panel, you can see the Colorama effect that we just applied. And you can drop down some of these menus like output cycle and input phase. So the input phase is just sort of where the, the circle starts or ends. So what is considered red or black. And the output cycle is, you know, what color gets translated into what color. So by default, it's this sort of rainbow. But there's a bunch of preset ones here if you want to just experiment and see what they look like. However, what we're going to do is create our own. And uh, we can just start with like the solarize red as a starting point. But if you ever want to move around any of these points, you can just click and drag them off to delete them. Or you can click to, uh, on any point to add points. So essentially what, what I'll do is create a red, blue, and green one with some black. So on this first point, I'll make it red. And then I'll add another point. I'll make it blue, standard color picker. And then I will add another point and make it green. So just have our basic trio of colors. But just with this green, I'm going to separate it by another point of black. So now we have a red, blue, and green. I'll kind of space them out to my liking. One tip that I think is important is uh, adjusting the spacing, sort of like how much you choke these colors in or out, because I think it can make some cooler edges if you don't just let everything be all blurred and blended into each other. So Here's a, another sort of example gradient where I added a bright blue in between the red and green just to give it this sort of neon edge to it. So the next thing I'm going to do, because this is very harsh right now, is add a Gaussian blur. So I'm going to go to my effects panel, open up the blur and sharpen. And actually, you can play around with a lot of different kinds of blurs, but just your standard Gaussian blur can be a good start. And we're going to apply that onto the clip. Now I'm actually going to minimize everything in my effect controls panel by clicking these drop down arrows. And the key to this is you actually want to make sure the Gaussian blur is applied first. So at the top of the list before the colorama, because the order of application does matter in effects. I'll just increase the blurriness amount and then you apply the colorama. So what this does is just softens up all those harsh edges that we're getting and gives us more of that heat map sort of night vision effect. And then you can go back to the Colorama if you want, experiment with which phase shift looks good, like the starting or end point. And just as a little bonus tip for you, if I hold option on the phase shift and click on the stopwatch icon, it'll allow me to add an expression onto the value of this. So if I wanted to constantly cycle through phase, what I can do is something like value equals time and I can multiply it by, let's say, 100. So this will be multiplying it by 100 degrees every second. So the, sh the shift will be circling around every couple seconds. And if that's too fast or slow, you can try a smaller number or just play around with the math. So this will just constantly shift the phase. So we've created this cool heat map colorama effect and of course you can choose any colors you want if you don't want to use red blue and green so you can experiment with it but that's a good starting point and introduction to this cool colorama effect and some different ideas you can do with it if you enjoyed this video my name is justin odisho you can check out hundreds of more after effects and editing tutorials in the playlist on my channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one